Hello everybody, welcome to this lecture on microcontroller and its applications. Today we will be dealing with the arithmetic instructions. We are moving into the instruction set, uh, understanding the instruction set of 8051 microcontroller, the assembly language instruction set. So, um, uh, we will be learning about arithmetic instructions, we will be learning about logic instructions and we will be also learning about the loop and jump instructions. So, let us start with the arithmetic instructions. So, as you can see, from your slide, the different types of arithmetic instructions or the different type of arithmetic operations that you would be performing is like addition, subtraction, division, multiplication and complement, a simple mathematic operation that you would perform on binary numbers, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and complementary operations. So, these are some of the arithmetic, these are the some of the arithmetic operations for which an arithmetic instruction will be studying, okay. So, let us start with addition as the first arithmetic operation. Now, we will be dealing with addition of unsigned numbers. You know unsigned numbers range from uh, 0, 0 to 256 or 0 to 64 kilobytes as per the capacity of your memory. So, arithmetic instructions you have add, you can add two numbers basically and these numbers can be part, one of these numbers has to be part of an accumulator. The other number can be an immediate data or it can be uh, a direct address location or it can be also a register in a register bank or it can be also a reference register like uh, R0 which can give a reference to an address location from where the data has to be fetched. So, there are many different ways in which addition can be done. So, as you can see uh, destination operand is always in register A okay, and source operand can be a register emirata or a memory. Okay. Memory to memory arithmetic operations are never allowed in 8051 assembly language. Okay. So, that is about addition. Addition can also be done with add C instruction. So, as you can see add C uh, is little different from your add instruction in that you add your instruction bytes along with the carry that is what is add C instruction. Okay. So, as I said you can add with add you can add a number accumulator should always be the destination register you can add the accumulator along with an immediate data maybe an immediate data or you can add the accumulator along with a register bank maybe r2 or you can add the accumulator with maybe a reference to a memory of instruction. So, these are separate different possibilities in which you can use add instruction. Okay, add C is an actually uh, used to add along with carry. This is basically used when we are adding 16 bit numbers. When we see examples, it will be much more easy for you to understand. So, that is about addition instruction. So, next let us see subtract instruction. So, as you can see uh, before subtract instruction, let us see about what is BCD number. Now, all the additions in 8051 are performed with the help of hexadecimal addition. So, hexadecimal addition is what is performed. So, by default a number is perf by default a number in 8051 is taken as an hexadecimal number. So, all the additions will be performed on hexadecimal numbers and the result will be stored as an hexadecimal number. But if you want to view your result, in a decimal or binary coded decimal number, then we should know about how to do addition or any arithmetic operation with BCD numbers. So, what is basically a BCD number system? You know BCD numbers range from 0 to 9. You do not have A, B, C, D which you have an hexadecimal number. So, 0 to 9, the, the range is from 0 to 9, the digit range is from 0 to 9. So, there are basically two types of BCD numbers, one is called unpacked BCD, another is called packed BCD. In unpacked BCD, the lower four bits of the number represent the BCD number, okay, and the rest of the bits are zero. So as you can see, an example over here, the lower four bits represents the BCD number. There is zero one zero one is for five, and one zero zero one is for nine, okay. But the other four bits are just zero; they do not represent any number. They just are zero. In a packed BCD, both the four bits represent a number. For example, 59 
is represented by 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 and 1, 0, 0, 1, 5 and 9. So, that is the difference between packed and unpacked BCD numbers. Okay. So, this is the information we need to learn about BCD numbers. So, adding two BCD numbers in a 805 microcontroller can sometime yield a non BCD or hexadecimal number. So, how do you deal with that? You will always like to see if you add 17 plus 18, you will like to add, you will like to see uh, answer as 35, but it will not give us 35 as an answer because addition internally of your 805 microcontroller is going to happen in a hexadecimal fashion. So, as you can see on the screen, if you add 17 and 28, your answer should be 45, uh, but uh, will you get the same answer? Yeah. So, to convert a BCD number, okay, to convert a BCD number, convert a hexadecimal number to a binary coded decimal, uh, in 8051 there is one simple instruction called decimal adjust accumulator instruction. So, decimal adjust accumulator instruction is a simple instruction which can be used to convert a hexadecimal number to a decimal number to a binary coded decimal number. This is done by simple ideology. If your addition of any two numbers, for example, if the addition of 17 plus 28 yields a number such as 3f, 17 plus 28, okay, these both are hexadecimal numbers. When we add them, by default, we will get the result as 3f. Now, 3f is not the result we were looking for for. Decimally, we were looking for, for a result as 45. So, we have got a result as 3f. So, how do we change this result 3f to 45? So, it is a very simple thing. Binary coded decimal, when we use an instruction called decimal adjust accumulator, when we use an instruction called decimal adjust accumulator, what happens is, it will check if both your numbers of your, your added numbers have any number which is o greater than 9. Now, there is a number that is your lower nibble is greater than 9. So, your uh, f is greater than 9. If So, if there is a number that is greater than 9, then it will add 6 to it. So, once it adds 6 to it, what is the number you get? f plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right? So, you get f plus 6, you get 5 and uh, 3, uh, 3, uh, uh, 5, but it is 1 and 5, so 1 you get carried over and it gets becomes 45. So, 3f plus 6 is 45. So, this is the logic by which it works. So, whenever a number is greater than 9, it will add 6 to it. So, this is how BCD number system works basically. So, that is about BCD arithmetic. So, decimal adjust is an instruction which you can use to convert and hexadecimal number to decimal number. Okay. Subtraction. Now, mostly you would have found about subtraction an instruction called sub as an instruction. In 8085, 8086, you would have found this instruction very commonly. But as far as 8051 is concerned, there is only one instruction called sub b. Okay, that is sub along with borrow. So, what does the subtract instruction do? Subtract instruction, for example, sub b accumulator comma register b what does it do it will subtract the content of register b from accumulator and store it in accumulator itself so this is what the subtraction happens now if case if the register b content is greater than the register a content then the carry flag is set and the carry flag is set that is because in subtraction normal arithmetic subtraction we see that if there is a greater number that is subtracted from a smaller number, then there is a condition of borrow. So, when there is a borrow, the carry flag is set. So, this is how subtraction happens. Okay. So, subtraction basically happens in 805 microcontroller by the two's complement method. So, all of you know what is the two's complement method. You take the one's complement of a number and add one to it that makes the number subtrahend two's complement and that you add with the minimum and, and that you get the uh, subtraction answer in binary operation. We have all studied it, it's just a revision of it. Okay. 
<coughs> multiplication. Now, does 8051 support direct multiplication? In 8085 microprocessor that you studied in the last time, you have found that 8085 microprocessor does not support direct multiplication. You have to do repeated addition to get a multiplied answer. So, but in 8051, you have directly an instruction called MUL. As you can see on the screen, there is an instruction called MUL. But and this instruction directly multiplies two numbers in a register and these registers can be only register A and register B. Remember there is no other registers apart from register A that is accumulated and register B can be used for multiplication. So, the more the multiplicands should be in register A and register B only. Okay. Register A and register B holds two multiplicands and they can be multiplied. And once you multiply two 8 bit numbers, your answer can be more than an 8 bit number, it can be up to a 16 bit result. So, when you multiply and your answer is stored, your answer cannot be stored in a one 8 bit number as it was in addition and subtraction. So, in most of the cases, when you multiply two numbers, your answer can be stored, your answer's lower byte is stored, lower byte of your answer is stored in accumulator and higher byte is stored in register B. Okay. So, high higher byte as it is written here, high byte is stored in register B and low byte is stored in register A. So, that is how your arithmetic operation as far as multiplication is concerned works in 8051 microcontroller. It, it the instruction is MUL AB. Okay. AB is the only register that can be used for multiplication operation. Let us look at division. Division is another another arithmetic operation which you can do with only two register contents of two registers that is register A and B. So you have the dividend and the divisor. Uh, put uh, numerator and the denominator. The numerator will be always in accumulator and denominator will be always in register B. So once you divide, you expect a quotient. You expect a reminder. Always remember quotient is stored in accumulator and reminder is stored in register. So, that is how division operation takes place in 8051 microcontroller. So, addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Okay. So, that is how division takes place. Now, one important thing about signed operations or signed 8 bit operands. Now, when you think about signed operation, you remember the signed operation involves either a positive or a negative sign. That means, a number can be either a positive or negative one. So, for example, if you want to represent a negative 5, okay, you, you can represent it in microcontroller provided you use signed bit operations. So, when you are using signed bit operations, remember that D7 bit represents your sign. D7 bit represents your sign. And if D7 bit is 1, it is a negative number and if D7 bit is 0, it is a positive number. So, this is the basic logic. If D7 is 0, it is a positive number. If D7 is 1, it is a negative number. That is the most significant bit. So, that gives and the rest of the bits. So, since the most significant, so if, if I take minus 0, 5, you have uh, the, the uh, sorry, uh, the 8 bit, the number may be, uh, in binary terms, the number will be represented as 1, 0, 0, 0 and phi as 0, 1, 0, 1. So, 1 over here denotes the magnitude subtraction. Okay, it's, it's minus, it is the magnitude, denotes the sign of the number and 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, that is next 7 bits denote the magnitude of the number. So, that is why, because 7 bits can denote the magnitude of the number, that is 2 power 7, the range of signed operation ranges from 0 to plus. 1 to 7, 1 to 7 for positive numbers and to minus 2, 1 to 8 that is 0 to minus 1 to 8 to 0 for negative numbers. So, this is uh, how signed operations is done in 8051 microcontroller. Okay. So, this shows how a uh, signed operation can be done. Okay. So, whenever there is an overflow, when you add two numbers or uh, 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 when you divide uh, numerator by a 0 
in so all the such operations where uh, you have a wrong answer or something is wrong in your operation always your overflow flag will be set okay your overflow flag will be set in case if there's something wrong with your operation okay <coughs> okay so that is about overflow flag uh, okay we have studied about two's complement of a number uh, two's complement is take a complement and add one to it well, to complement a number, we can use an instruction called CPL. So, CPL is an instruction to complement a number. Always remember, the complement of a number can be done if that number is stored in accumulator only. Accumulator is the only register of which a complement can be found out. So, for, that is a complement of a number. So, that is about arithmetic operations. We will see... Uh, uh, other operations such as jump and loop operations and logic operations in the coming lectures.